we talked some testimonies. Like there's a episode on there about um, like Courtney, her and I dealt with with infertility for uh, the beginning part of our marriage when she was told that she wouldn't have kids, and uh, now we're about to have our third. So praise God. I mean, come Yo, on, come right? on. Hey, let's stay there for a second. Yeah. So if somebody out there is listening and they're struggling with like infertility, like what are some because you've been through that yeah. with your family? What are some words of wisdom you would give them? You know, the, the, the thing that really shifted it for my wife, I'll kind of speak on, on behalf of her right now. Um, the thing that shifted for her is whenever she finally told the Lord, she said, Lord, if you never give me a child, it was the prayer of Hannah, you know, from, from first Samuel, bro. Let's go. <laughs> we connected. <laughs> she, she said, Lord, if you never give me a child, it, it it's fine. I, I just want you. But if you give me a child, I'll give them right back to you. And, um, the moment that she did that, you know, there was a joy that came upon my wife. Whenever the burden of worrying about having to have, like, Lord, I got it, it was really just striving. Like, Lord, we want a child so bad. We want to be father, a father and a mother. And we had just done foster care, foster to adopt. Um, you know, we were told that we were going to adopt these kids. And man, I fell in love with these kids from the day that I met them. And I was bawling my eyes out every day for, three months thinking like, Lord, what if you take them away? And then they ended up going back to their, uh, to their family, which, you know, reunification is the main process of that. So I've just had to surrender that to the Lord. And, uh, and she told me, I remember her saying like, you are now experiencing because how broken I was once my, once I almost said my kids, but like once my foster kids had left, um, she said, what you're experiencing is what I've been feeling for the past three years, not being able to get pregnant. She's like, I think now you, you understand. And I'll, and that put it in a whole new perspective for me. Because I had to lose something to where she had been desiring it the entire time. But again, once she just kind of gave it to the Lord, um, which is around the same month that my foster kids, our foster kids were taken back, um, she gave that to the Lord. And then we conceived that month, that month. Oh my gosh. It was was amazing. So yeah, she, uh, and our first, our oldest son, his name is Samuel. That's, that's it, man. So he, the prophet, bro, he is Man, it's, it's so much of a miracle. I mean, a- every child is, and but whenever you're told you can't have kids, and then you, man, you just stick it to the enemy, and you're like, ha ha ha, like, right? I'm having my third. You know, it's an amazing legacy to have, and <clears throat> I'm just so excited to to be able to to experience this, and so to just bring encouragement. If there's anyone who's struggling with infertility, um. You know, you've heard heard me maybe say some of the stuff about the, my my business and just everything of of, of my life. But if you just give it all to the Lord, you know, you're gonna. How do you do that? Would you say is it prayer? Is it taking that worry off of you? Is it trying to lose the grip of control that you think you have yeah. on it? Yeah, I think so. I, I think there's so much of us that we just desire to to operate in our own strength. Like we almost did IVF to like try to force it. And I'll say like, yeah, like force God's hand. And, Mm. but we felt convicted that like, Lord, we feel like we're trying to play God right now and trying to make something like, what if you're just not ready to give us a child yet? And so, I mean, it it is so hard, it's difficult, but it just, there has to be through that journey, through that process, you just have to say, Lord, like this is much too heavy for me to carry anymore. Like, and I know that you can carry it so much better. So Lord, it is still my dream. And I'll just, I speak over every person struggling with infertility. Don't give up on the dream. You know, God says, be fruitful and multiply. So there is a promise from him and a command. So lean into that promise and say, Lord, you're going to give us a child. And the way that we brought that prophetically into our lives is we got the baby room ready. We went ahead and we bought the crib. We went ahead and we painted the room. Well, my in-laws painted the room. Uh, they painted it the uh, Toy Story Andy's room with all the the clouds on it and stuff, um, but yeah, we got the dresser, we got the clothes, we got all of it because we said, Lord, you're going to give us a child because that's the dream. And um, people may say, Oh, you're preaching prosperity gospel. I'm like, It's not prosperity when the Lord promised it to me. It's not prosperity whenever it's out of His mouth. I'm like, I'm just calling forth and acting on what God already has promised me because if we were pregnant we would already be getting this stuff anyways. Yeah. So what if I just prophetically go ahead and start getting the room ready? So if you want to know, get the room ready. And that, I know we keep talking about thread, but whenever seeing O oh, barren woman, what Pastor Alex has been preaching on lately, 
single barren woman, you who never bore a child, because more are the children of the desolate than the one who has a husband. That was what we came under. And it says, and it says in there, his whole thing with the tent pegs, right? Yeah. It says, extend your tent pegs out. So enlarge in your house, get the room ready. And that's why we did it because of that passage right there. Oh my gosh. And then we, because we just prophetically, when we just said, Lord, we're just going to step in under what you've already called, even though we can't see it, doesn't mean it's not there. So Lord, we're just going to come into alignment with it and we're just going to believe and pray and just give it to you. You just take the heavy lifting. And once you took the heavy lifting, man, we were able to start laughing, just have joy. And then, uh, the day that we she took a pregnancy test, it was a, it was December sixth. I'll never forget that more. I was getting ready for work on a Friday. I'm in the the spare bathroom trying to get ready not to wake her up. She I hear the door rumbling through. She throws open the curtain while I'm showering. I'm feeling all insecure. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> and she sticks a pregnancy test in my face and she says, "Look at it." And for three days straight, we could all we could do is laugh. All oh we could do is laugh. So yeah, Praise it's God. Uh, it is it's an uh, it's an amazing thing. So yeah, and, and again, we're having our third child. Good Lord, uh, here in August. So, bro. So yeah. For everybody listening and watching, make sure you subscribe to the show. Please share this episode specifically with a friend that you think could benefit it, whether it be the infertility story, the loss of a loved one, a worship leader, how church should be. I feel like we covered so many great topics today that somebody else can really benefit from. So please share it if you don't mind. Subscribe to the YouTube. And if you want to help us out and partner with us, you can do so on Patreon. We launched it in May 1st. Super exciting. I know. It's so great, man. We already have 10 on there. So shout out to all 10 of you that are actually uh, partnering with us. It is every single single time one of them came in bro like the emails i would just smile with joy like there you go. look what you're doing people believe in what we're doing like yeah. you're faithful lord so thank you to all 10 of you some shout outs will be coming around the way at the end of the month for that as well and then also if you want to support the ministry in any way just give a little one time giving you can go to i like birds ministry.com i like birds ministry.com slash support or you can go get a copy of uh, 21 days in africa on that website as well uh, i'll even sign it and send it your way it'll help bless the ministry and also read a little bit more about my story and a mission trip to Africa. So definitely appreciate y'all being here and we'll see you next time for another great episode about Jesus. All right. Cheers.